Hi, this is Hair by T, and today I will show you how to color the root with the end with a different one to be a copper. You will mix 30 grams of intense base plus 10 gram of 10N plus 20 volume 4 gram of uh, OR orange red from Aveda, and that's for the root only. You will start section the hair straight across on the top of the crown and down behind the ear. Then you're going to only touch up the new growth, which is maybe a little bit more than half inch. You're going to color all around the hairline. After that, you're going to get a small section and you're going to color from the top and then the bottom on both sides. Make sure you get a thin section, especially if it's a gray coverage. You want to make sure to cover 100% of the gray. But if it's not gray, still you want to be consistent and just grab a really thin and clean section. It has to be really straight. If it's a zigzag, it will not cover really well the color. You will start doing the same thing all the way down to the ear. Then you're going to put it back, all the hair back to its place again. On the right side, you're going to get it the same way as you did on the other side. You're going to get a section right behind the ear. And then you're going to start coloring all around the hairline. Maybe a little bit more than half an inch. Then you're going to get a small section, really like straight section, and color the top and bottom the same way all the way to the end. Now you're going to move to the back and put it back the hair again in place and then you're going to section in the middle and you're going to start coloring the hairline only the new growth and you're going to go all around the hairline. Then keep getting a section, a small one, and be consistent on your section too so they all look the same color. And you're going to color on both sides just to make sure it gets a good coverage. Keep doing the same all the way to the end. Back here she has more dark, you can color more than just 3 fourth of an inch because she has dark. Now you're going to mix a 30 gram of light copper, 30 gram of 5 volume liquid. Uh, all this is from Aveda and you're going to mix it well and this is, you're going to apply from after that 3 fourth inch all the way to the end and we're going to run it to the end and this is a semi permanent. The reason why I use semi-permanent is not to overlap her hair with permanent because if you do permanent over permanent, it will dry out more of their hair and it will not give you extra shine like the semi-permanent. Keep getting a small section and color all the way to the end and make sure you saturate. If you're getting a little bit thicker the section, make sure you spread the hair so you can see that it's not missing the color and it's well saturated.
Now you're gonna turn on your left side and you're gonna color from 3 4 inch away from the scalp all the way to the end. And then you're gonna start doing the same thing all the way until you run out all this hair you need to color it. After finishing applying, you're gonna put it back the hair to its place and you're gonna turn to your right and then do the same thing that you did on the other side. Once you finish coloring, you put the hair down, then uh, you're gonna let it process for 30 minutes after you actually finish the root application, not when you're doing the, the ends. That's when it will be maybe 20 minutes or something. And then you're gonna shampoo and conditioner with the color concert conditioner. And then you bring it back to your chair. You're gonna put some products to get the volume on the root with the volumizing tonic and then you can use some heat protectant styling cream and then confixer to hold the curls that we're gonna do it so now I'm blow drying for about a hundred percent before I curl her hair You're gonna section their hair up to curl her hair, but if you feel that it's still damp a little bit, you can get a blow dry and dry 100% before you curl. So the curl will go in the first piece, and you're gonna roll it in, and then the second piece is gonna be out. So you're gonna be alternating so the curl doesn't stick all together and it looks more like beachy wave. Keep doing all the same, going to your left and then to your right and then keep doing the front part, you're gonna curl back and then the second piece forward. So this is the before and after and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share for more new videos every Thursday.